I think this shows what Janet Fraser was all about. Me too. I want other people to know. It's all right. I'm here to help you. I'm Dr. Fraser. Yeah, you know, I never know what's next. You just um, try and keep your head on straight. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Sometimes it must be overwhelming, right? Yeah, it's funny. You know, you think all the training, everything we know about medicine, really, it amounts to very little. I mean, often I'm faced with situations that there's really nothing I can do. I'm a doctor, Sam. This goes against every part of me to just stand by and do nothing. I'm sure you're doing everything you can. You know, I'd never normally say this. It goes against everything I've been trained to do, but the truth is, you'd be a lot better off if I... There's nothing else I can do. Just concentrate on getting it out of her way. I don't know how, sir. Is there an upside? Are you kidding me? I think the reason we all manage to persevere is because we feel that we're on the brink of understanding so much more. And not just about medicine, but about who we are. You know, where we came from, what the future has in store, how, how we fit into the grand scheme of things. I, I have never seen it. This is incredible. Dr. Fraser did everything she could. And she went three days without sleep. In the end, she didn't want to let me go. I think it's time to let her go, Let me go, let me go, let me go! I can't do that! You cannot leave! Listen, you don't understand the seriousness of your condition. And you still don't realize who you are talking to! I don't give a damn! You don't belong in that man's body, and I intend to take it back. Dr. Frazier, stand down. I can't do that, sir. I object to being kept in the dark about the condition of people whose health I am responsible for. Stand aside. If I don't return it immediately... Stand aside, or his suffering will have been for nothing. Stand aside, Dr. Frazier. I don't have a choice. Janet, don't do this. I can't help Cassandra, she can't. Once you've cured Cassandra of her illness, you'll be free to cope. How do I know you will honor this? You have only my word. Not enough. Then I should remind you that the woman holding the gun on you is Cassandra's mother. I care about what happens to you. I'm Dr. Fraser. I'm Dr. Janet Fraser. Can you hear me? Honey, don't you know what you mean to me? I want you to fight this. That's an order. Who put her in charge? The U.S. Air Force. Dr. Fraser believes you are not strong enough to undertake such a mission. Yeah, whatever. In medical matters, Dr. Fraser may overrule those of any rank. Dr. Fraser is usually correct in such matters. You try to tell yourself that. She's back. Every man and woman under your command means the same to you. Each has to be equally valuable if you're going to make the kinds of decisions that affect their lives the way I have to. But you can't help it. You get closer Girl, to some people. I want you to fight this, okay? Do you count yourself among Cloak's friends? Of course. Then stay. When the time comes, he may need your help to fight his way back to us. I owed her a lot more than I ever gave back. Janet Frazier was an extraordinary person. She was kind and funny and talented. Above all, she was courageous. Try as I might, I could not find the words to honor her, to do justice to her life.